Hello, my name is Courtney. Um, with fall coming up, I wanted to show you how to hand knit one of these giant, uh, comfy and warm and soft blankets. Uh, they're really easy to make, so I'm going to show you step by step how you can make one too. So to make one of these blankets, you'll need yarn. You'll need six of these, or at least I use six of these to make the four foot wide blanket. Um, this is just chunky yarn. Any chunky yarn will work. This is just the one that I prefer. I know that Michael's has some. I haven't found any at Joanne's though. Um, at Michael's it's Bernat's. Uh, the big blanket one, just make sure it's the thicker one. The thicker one is the better, or it's easier to use. So six of these, um, some scissors, the sharper the better and then just some measuring tape so you can measure out the width of the blanket that you want to make. This is mine. <laughs> Very fancy. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make a knot loop. Like... that. I'll show you again. Just wrap it around your fingers, go around. Pull it through and tighten it so that you have a loop. So now with your loop knot, you take your working yarn and you feed it through the first loop like a chain. And you take your yarn, feed it through like a chain. One more time, feed it through like a chain. So then you continue doing this until you have the width of the blanket that you want, the size that you want. I usually like to make mine about four feet, so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But you just keep make, pulling through the loop, making chains, and it'll start looking like this. Also try to make sure that your loops are not too small or not too big. The bigger that your loops are, the looser the blanket is going to be and the tighter it's more like stiff and I personally don't like it. It's not quite as comfortable, but you can make them however you would like to. I usually try to make mine about the size of two fingers. So to measure it, you go back to the end and you use where you've tied that first loop knot, put that at the end of where you want to measure. So like I said, I like to make mine about four feet. So that is what it's going to look like. That last loop that you made should go to the length that you want to make your blanket. So once you get to the length that you want, you'll take your working yarn and you'll put it through the last loop of your chain. Just like that. And then you'll start working your way back the opposite way through the loops that you made on the chain. So you'll see that there's each loop has a, a loop. So you go through the last one that you made and you work backwards down the chain and make loops through each one that you already did. So you'll find loop. And still make them about two finger widths big. I personally like 
to put my middle finger back through that loop just to hold it still while I'm going to the next one to make sure that it doesn't pull through and make it smaller. But you can do whatever works for you. So you'll just keep going through backwards through your chain, go through each loop that you already made. And always make sure to pull the yarn towards you. I will show you why uh, later on, why it makes a difference. So it'll start looking like this and you'll have little loops down the chain. It makes it easy if you make sure it's not tangled at all so you can see where the line is that you want to be working. So just keep going through the chain, just pull the loops through. Sometimes the loops are hard to see, but if you move the yarn around a little bit, you can find the next one. And if you happen to mess up, it's really easy to just pull the loops back through and you can start over from where you messed up or if you want to redo it. All right. So now that you're at the end of the chain, try and show you a little bit. You can see all the loops that we made. So you're just going to take this last loop that you made, just like the other end of the blanket, take your working yarn and do just the same thing. Pull it through and make a loop. And then so that's the first loop going back and you're just gonna work backwards again down the line of the loops that you just made. Just making sure you're making about the same size loops every time and to make sure that you're pulling towards you, not like don't go forward to back. You wanna make sure that you're going back to front. All right, so we're back to the end again. So here's that last link at the end. I don't know if you can see. So again, you just pull it through like that. So now you have that last chain or last loop and you're just going to take this loop, go the one that you just made and loop through it again to make it taller, I guess. And then you're just going to keep going back down the line. Alright, so we're back to the end again. I'll show you again how you do it. So you have this last loop, pull it through the loop, the last one, and then you go through that loop again to make it taller and go back through the line again. All right, so to, when you get to the end of your yarn, you'll take your next um, roll of yarn, 
Um, and all you have to do is just tie the two end pieces together, just in a normal knot. Make sure it's really tight. And for this blanket, I'm making stripes, so I wanted to do the second color that I'm using for the next um, row. So just really tight. And then you'll take your scissors and just cut off the little end tails. And that's it. Then you'll keep on going. And you just pull the knot through like you would just as a normal loop. And you just keep on going from there. So the reason why you want to make sure that you're doing it the same way the whole time and why you're not going like on top through to the bottom. You wanna go from the bottom to the top. So this is what the one side looks like and then this is what the other side of the blanket looks like. So yeah, if you switch or if you're not, if you don't do the same way the whole way through pulling it towards you, then it'll start it won't stay the same pattern. But I mean, if, you, if that's what you wanna do, you can do that also. You just have to go the opposite way through the loops and it'll turn out like the other side. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep making the blanket. All right, so on the last row, you're gonna wanna make your loops like double the size that you have been making throughout the blanket because when we're done, we're gonna be using these loops to make a chain and you wanna make sure that they're big enough so that you can easily pull it through so that it goes all the way to the other side. about that big, it'll look like that. And now what you wanna do is with the first loop, take the second loop and pull it through the first loop, just like that. And then you'll just keep on going down the line. You take the second loop, pull it full through the first loop. And you just keep on going. Keep pulling the next loop back through that previous loop. All right, when you get to the end of the blankets, you can pull off the, the rest of the working yarn. Um, and then you just, you can tie a knot through that last loop pull it down. You can tie a couple knots to make it more secure just through that last loop that you made. And 
that's it. You have successfully created a blanket.